Yo, what's up, guys? Here's this Welcome back to the channel. I'm discovering new golem meta right now. This a uh, really <laughs> hard meta for the golem. Golem can carve it a knight, which is like a golem first play, but the spirit says golem control strategy because we will play just with controlling the deck, and it's like a golem control with a really incredible. Uh, average it's 3.9 the average elixir cost it's too good and we have void we have evil zap we have arrows three pull spell we have because this in this meta really we need some spell and we don't have a special dual line uh, and we will play in a one line but we have spells and just we need to play the golem night witch and through our spells guys i win a lots of match in a row that you will watch them uh, in the continue of the match but i wanted to share my second last match on a replies to transfer and tell some tips that it's really necessary and it can help you so before to watching my uh, match that i win oh uh, that i win them in a row let's uh watch some two battles that i, that I want to transfer some good uh tips with this uh perfect uh golem cannon card in this season so against zero he's in a good range and i have to say that we are in a near top ladder and top 1003 or 400 we are so we have zap we have void we have bomber and also we have the column so i as soon as possible that i could i will play my spells to cycle my uh evil zap and also preventing to have a triple spell in a one hand because Triple as well with a goal and it's a really toxic. So he played his skeletons. He is a cannon card and he's a skeleton king, proven to me that he's a lexic golem. So I played a golem in a night witch. I have void, but I will not play my void for his night witch because usually they will play night witch to bait your spells and after that they play their evil wizard. As you see, he played really really good wizard. I can't now. Uh, take down the wizard with just one void. All I need is here to play my spells to defend a wizard and a knife each my opponent's map. So I played another zap, I cycled my zap, but on a legacy advantage, I'm too bad. As you see, he's Lexi Golem arrows, void, and raid. So you have to place one of his spell. And uh, this is a really hard counter match. Lexi Golem knife which it will wizard is really hard counter and he has arrows uh, for attacking to my bomber so my hand is completely closed so he come with Alexa golem i go with a cannon card cannon card is really good on defending and uh his shield i don't know he's attacking his elixir everything is okay so his skeleton king shows that he's going to attacking a dual line look at this days in these days in this season are, uh, my opponents are having a dual line attacking to me, so I played Naivich, definitely one arrows, and he played a really good uh, strategy. I was, I told you, I was an elixir negative management, and uh, this was the reason that I injured a lot, but this is a golem control deck, and I will not lose my tower easily, and this 700 HP, I will really keep it safely, and that was my uh, success key for winning really i choose a really hard match for describing so he call another electric golem and an irish and a skeleton king with evil wizard from my right side because he um, considering that his last attacking was successful so why not to repeat it so now i told you just through your spells void and arrows and we have the cannon card for the right side i have my uh evil zap for Really, I forced to play my Ibu Zap for the Skeleton King and he did a really, really good defending. And now you're asking that Spectre how you win this match, really. Um, he's defending just about a 500 HP remaining and how you win it. I don't know, I will tell you. Now I will play another cannon card to take health from my cannon. As you see, I have a cannon from the middle. I will play another Night Witch. This Legacy Golem can help me a lot for collecting some Lexer. I have to play another spell for this golem it's actually lexi golem it's, so i played a golem from left side he's coming from the right side now i told myself that he may play lexi golem on the bridge and ignore my golem push so i will just play a bomber and a cannon for predicting but he was too smart player and he defended my golem push and ignored to playing the Lexi Golem and now I will play the Night Witch from right side because my right my right side is in a lower HP than mate so uh, I will not play any bomber or I don't know some cards I will play a golem on the bridge 
I will just now play my spells and thanks from the night which that killed the old cards so I play a void arrows and also my evil zap again the golem connect the tower golem is on attacking the tower so all I need is my cycling spells cause my spells are so cheap but their damage are like a rocket as you see I'm just attacking the spells and who can believe that I robbed the losing with winning and guys if you haven't liked the video please now like the video because I think it is this video deserves your like and comment so let's go for a second ultimate guide uh, tips with the this golem cannon card night witch deck that's how we should play so against three pal and he's a lava hound deck but i didn't know that he's a lava hound i have three pull spell just because my next card is a spell so i will play my zap and um really it was <laughs> He played his void, I played a golem, now he will play, yeah, with the balloon, with Valkyrie, I think. Yeah, balloon and the Valkyrie, so in this in case you have to continue your golem push, because you first will continue your golem push, you can't ignore your golem. I played a knife each and definitely he will play the Infernal Dragon and my first zap that I played for nothing and play for cycling uh, is now really injuring me a lot, because I don't have any cards, I don't have any spells for resetting the Infernal Dragon and an Infernal Dragon attacked my uh, golem and I forced to play void and a zap I use a lot of elixir but I can't have a rush to his king tower cause his great inferno dragon and a lack of having zap in my cycle so look at my king tower guys it's just a 2300 one another golem excuse me lava which is enough I played a cannon card for heavy rush and he played it guards and his evil valkyrie Actually, this time is normal uh, on his hand. So, in any seconds of match from now on, the smell of playing Valkyrie and a balloon uh, is near. So, he's waiting for me to play the golem, but definitely I will not play the golem. I told you my uh, King Tower is in need of help. I really mm, rescue my Night Witch. I played a bad golem, guys. <laughs> Because uh, I don't have evil zap. If I had evil zap here, that was really enough for winning. So this time I didn't have my evil zap. Actually, not enough elixir for attacking. And now look at this: a lava hound, double dragon, infernal dragon is coming. So I will play a phoenix. I will play the evil zap on defensive capability of my strategies, and I will play one arrows because his infernal dragon is healthy. I have the really low HP Phoenix uh, so I will play another Night Witch from the right side all I want is playing a Golem from um, his right side so I will now play a Golem for uh, predicting and blocking his probable Void but he didn't so now look at this just Void 3 plus spell and he played really evil set that was really bad for me and 3 plus spell even that arrows yes now the everything is out of way of the golem and I, this is the power of the golem 3 pull spell. Now I will play a cannon card because cannon card is like a, I don't know, uh, bug because when we play the cannon card in the middle, uh, this card will uh, attack to the tower and again playing my arrows and that's it. I really win this really hard and sensitive match. So from now on we will switch to having my mats that's how i reach this range of trophy and don't forget like comment and subscribe let's go for the continue of the video